Hey everybody, welcome to Fun Size VL, the podcast series where we answer your questions as quick but as detailed as we can. I am one of your hosts, PM Seymour. And I am your other host, Austin Lee Matthews. We have, we're starting off with a very good question because this is something I've thought about for a long time and it's very important. So Austin, go ahead and read us the question and who is the question from? All right, so this question is from Karkasik. That is at them on Twitter. And it is, what do you do when your throat starts to hurt in the middle of a recording session? The short answer is, your throat shouldn't really ever hurt in a recording session. But we'll explain why. Yeah, or like, unless you're doing some seriously vocally strenuous stuff, you really shouldn't even be, like having any difficulties with your voice at all yeah step one don't audition for characters that hurt your voice or you don't have enough experience in doing that voice yet believe me i learned that the hard way if you can't keep up the voice for at least two hours don't audition for it i mean that it sounds harsh but it's absolutely true because it's one of those if you run into that situation when you're in a session and your voice starts to give out two hours in and you're booked for four hours what do you do yep Oops, you're kind of boned. If that situation does happen, like you get invited to like a session for effort folly for something like Dragon Ball Z or something even more extreme than that, the definite answer I could give is uh, do singing warm ups. Like a lot of singers actually have a system that they do. Like they do the scales, they do uh, the tongue twisters, they just keep their lips nice and smooth, but it also keeps their vocal cords open. Absolutely. Um, and I would also say a good thing to do is before and after sessions, not necessarily during, but before and after sessions, keep your voice hydrated and lubricated. Overall, keeping your voice hydrated and lubricated is just important for this job in general, but especially when you're warming up and you're cooling down, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Also, pace yourself. Mm-hmm. Pace, pace, pace yourself, especially if you are recording by yourself if you're recording by yourself and you're not in a studio leave the super explosive yelling stuff for the very end do not start with it or else you are going to jack up your voice really freaking quickly yes absolutely i cannot tell you how many like at least how many times i've got in samples where it's they do the like the yelling like middle of the session and then like the final half of the recording is very dried out and painful i'm like why'd you do this to yourself why would you why would, yeah no why? seriously directors in studios are much better at helping you pace yourself yes um but you know when you're at home pace yourself not have somebody else do it for you we don't want you to faint in the booth it's really If we can get through that, the session's great. And we don't want you not just to faint during the session, but we also don't want you to destroy your voice in general. Because if you ruin your voice, you could ruin your career. Yeah, that is an immediate career ender when you can't do the same wheelhouse of voices anymore. And we've all made the mistake of not pacing ourselves or not warming up or whatever. I've made the mistake. And and one of those, it it happens, especially when your sessions are timed and you have a certain amount of work you need to get done within the time span you're put into a session. So it's one of those, a lot of directors will be like, all right, let's try to do all of this in like two hours. And it's like 30 page script. But uh, another tip on keeping yourself at least lubricated, not really not hydrated, lubricated, a lot of voice actors will share this and you'll see it on Twitter every so often when you follow one because it is a godsend. It is a Chinese throat coat serum called Ninjam Pei Pokoa. Put it on the screen. I freaking love Ninjam Pei Pokoa. It is. First off, it's delicious. It's it's low quat black tea and green tea extract and honey. Those are like all my four favorite things mixed into one concoction. And oh, it's good. Yeah, like most medicine things, like you taste it and then it's just like, oh god, that's medicine. With this, the texture is a little weird because it's a very thick syrup. Mm-hmm. So if you're just having it straight, it's gonna be a little weird. But if you mix it in with your tea, it just tastes like you're having a honey tea. Yeah, it's very pleasant. It's very nice. It's very nice. And especially if you have hot water with some lemon. Ooh, 
Mm. Yeah. Makes for good freaking thing right there. It makes for good stuff. And the, the second thing you can use to lubricate your voice for a session, this one, at least for very, very extreme sessions, because if you do it on your day-to-day basis, it's probably not going to work anymore. Uh, cherry throat spray. I have seen a couple actors go into the booth with that, especially when they have to do massive charging anime yelling lines for about 30 seconds. It saves your voice. It's going to hurt. But at least with the throat spray, it's going to numb the pain so you can fight through it. Absolutely. And on top of the Ninjam Pepakoa and the cherry spray, just water, like, throughout the day when you're not, like, in the middle of a session. Because you should stay hydrated anyway. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, you should drink, I th- how many cups of water a day? Was it eight cups of water a day? Eight cups of water a day. Yeah, that's just, that's just good for your health in general. And there's, there's certain things you should avoid, and I'm going to kick myself in the shin saying this because I say it all the time and I'm the biggest hypocrite on the planet. If you have an intense session, uh, don't drink coffee before the session. It'll dry out your voice very badly, and it'll hurt. And then certain sodas like um, root beer is notoriously bad for your voice. Also, a lot of dairy stuff will also kind of mess with your throat, or at least just the very... Yeah, it puts you in a bad mood just because lactose. Oh, well, yeah, but also when you if you drink milk before a session or have any sort of dairy product, that's just going to gum up your voice, and you're going to sound like that's when you record. It's going to be really obvious that you have milk. And you're not going to be very happy with yourself when you're done. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. Don't ever yeah, drink no, it's milk. Not. So, so here's your checklist. Things you want when you're about to go in. The throat syrup, maybe the throat spray, something tart, lukewarm water, and the things to avoid. Caffeine, dairy, sour, and sugary. As soon as you start making those changes, you'll be able to take on those sessions a lot longer, and that pain will go away. It sure will. Well then, thank you guys for tuning in on the very first episode of Fun Size VO. We will definitely be doing this a lot more in the future. And if you want to send questions our way, hit us both up on Twitter with the hashtag Fun Size VO, and we will definitely find it, and then we'll go out of our way to see if we can answer the question for you. And don't forget to leave comments in the YouTube video and, you know, and share it around and uh, ring that bell. <laughs> ring <I think>. that <laughs> bell. <laughs> If you ring that bell, we'll pin ya! <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the final thing I'd like to add, if if you're an actor and you're listening to this and you have a piece of advice you'd like to share for this question, by all means, go ahead and do it in the comment section. Yes, our word is not gospel. Get information from everywhere. Yes. There's, there's a lot of answers that are stronger than others, but this is just our take on it, mm-hmm. you know? Everybody's going to have their own take. Do your research... And above all else, have fun. Yes. Fun size VO. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) We'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.